guys so welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have a versus video which means i'm going to be doing the anastasia beverly hill renaissance palette versus the wet and wild rose in the air palette this palette right here has been major major news ever since it launched um, in the beginning of December that it was the exact same dupe as the modern Renaissance palette from ABH now I am going to be doing my own personal review on this palette just because there's so many reviews out there saying oh some of them are powdery this and that for me I'm going to give you guys my own personal opinion on one eye I have which is the wet and wild and the other I have which is the Renaissance palette as you guys can see they're both the same they're both pigmented the only difference is the pricing and the number of shadows. Of course, you're going to get more with, you know, the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette than your Wet n Wild palette. So, yeah. But if you want to hear my honest thoughts about, you know, these two and which one works better, you know, just keep on watching and also how to create this look. If you either have this one or this one, you know, doesn't matter. You can still get the same amazing look, you know, just using this eye. I mean, with this palette. I mean, there's nothing much of a difference. So, if you guys want to see this video, go ahead and, you know, just keep on watching. But before getting into this versus video, duo, da, 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 make sure to subscribe down below so you can be part of the crazy bunhead family to keep on the site. Ding, 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 ding. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Christmas is in a couple of days, so that's why I didn't film yesterday, so I was shopping. But anyways, let's go ahead and get on to this versus video. Alright, so as always, I already prepped my face. I already fixed that little spot right there. Um, and I already primed my eyes. So we're going to go ahead and go first, which is with the Wet n Wild palette. I'm going to use this one first on my left eye. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and this is what the palette looks like I thought they were gonna be a little bit more bigger because you know in videos they looked a lot bigger but as soon as I got it you know it's not even that big it's my hands bigger than it so five bucks so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this palette I am so excited mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and take which is that transition shade right here um, this is the number one as you guys can see it just says transition right there on the on the shade I'm gonna go ahead and take which is my crease brush and I'm just gonna go ahead it does have quite a fit of a, quite a bit of fallout ooh, on the palette itself but it is normal when it comes to palettes and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this onto my crease just you know putting it so I have a little bit more of definition onto the crease I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, I almost did it on that side. <laughs> oh, the transition color I'm gonna be using for, you know, the dupe for this one, which would be, let's see here, Warm Taupe. So it's this one right here. As you guys can see they are very similar. So this is Warm Taupe, and this is number one from the Honest, from What a Wild and the Anastasia. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the same thing same it's the same concept it's very um they're both powdery but they're not you know extreme fallout like my like the uh whatchamacallit the renaissance not the renaissance this is the renaissance the soap culture palette oh god all right so i just zoomed you guys in hello um to my eyeballs right here so you guys can see what i'm doing um so I already put down for the Anastasia, which is um, Warm Taupe, which is that one right there. Now we're just going to go ahead and for the look that I was going for, well, that I'm going for, ugh, can I get my mirror? Um, the next look, well, the next look, the next shade that I'm going to be taking is, I need to look at the numbers back here, is number two, number two, which is this orange shade. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just pop this onto the crease. I'm deciding I'm gonna go with two different brushes I'm gonna use my tart brush for my left eye and a wet and wild dirty brush for the right side So it's gonna go ahead and take with just this orange Shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and with the same brush. I'm just gonna tap 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 on there get some of the access off and just put this on to My crease just ever so slightly and I just want like a little orangey vibe to it so so with the other brush I'm gonna go ahead and take which is regular which is the exact same shade as 
number two. So there's regular and there's number two. So taking that as well onto another fluffy or well, crease brush. And same thing, tap off the excess. To me, they have the same f amount of fallout as, you know, as the Wet n Wild palette. Um, there's not really nothing different about it. It's just that one... I feel like nowadays, it's just by the name. I just... Great. I just mixed this orange into that. Oh, great. Well, they're the same shade, but... They're both pigmented. I just took that. A little bit more of this orange right here. <laughs> Little orange right there. I'm just going to go ahead and put the right there. I'm trying to make it even. All right. So, not again. Oh. Anyways, um, they both have the same amount of fallout is what I'm noticing. But, what the heck. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take which is a. I'm gonna take which is this one, which is number three. Yeah, this one's number. Wait, I don't even know. I think it's number three or number two. Oh no, I'm looking at this wrong. This is number six. Yeah, so I'm taking number six, which is this one right here, and um, I'm gonna put this a little bit more onto the crease just to define it just a little bit more. So I'm just going to take again with my tart brush, trying not to confuse myself. Well, confuse myself. <laughs> and I'm just putting my son's pacifier in his mouth. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and take that little... It's more like a, a brick red shade. So I'm just putting that on there ever so slightly. And I'm going to go ahead and take which is this brown right here, which is um, number 9. So I'm taking this one right here and popping it into the crease. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Just a little bit, just a tad bit, just to, you know, make it a little bit darker because we're going to add pink to it. Alright, so, going on to this eye right here. I'm going to go ahead and take, which was for this brick brown shade, which is number 6. I'm going to go ahead, yeah, is it number 6? No, oh, number 7, my bad. Number 7, the exact same shade as that one is, let's see here, Red Orchid, Orchid, this one right here. I'm just going to go ahead and take it onto the brush again. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this into my crease. And we're just going to go ahead and do that same thing on this side. Give me one second. Alright, so I just finished blending everything out. You guys can see they are really looking ooh, really similar. And now we're going to add the pink. Now for the Win a Wild palette for my left eye. Hello. Uh, I'm going to add which is this one right here. And this is a color that I really like a lot on the Wet n Wild palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and take again that same crease brush. I'm just going to tap off the excess. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the pink on to the crease and just loving it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over there. Very, very nice. So, just doing that. All right, now for the other eye. So you guys can see the pink is already coming. The pink is coming out really, really, really nice. You guys can see, I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the eye. Very, very cool. All right, so for the Anastasia Beverly Hill palette, obviously it's noticeable which color looks exactly, and it, it is Love Letter. It's the same pink as the Wet n Wild palette. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and put this with the same crease brush that I was using for my right eye. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this onto my crease. Same thing, adding it onto top of all the eyeshadow that we just laid over. And we're just adding it now I'm just gonna go ahead and take which is a lid color now let me zoom me back in now for the lid color I was originally I'm going to use I was gonna use which is this white shade here because I wanted something you know to contrast it but I'm gonna take which is this shimmer shade on the wet n wild palette it is number number three so this is number three I wish they would put the numbers on the actual shade instead of in the back of the palette so you guys can see that the palette right here has the numbers and you know 
I would like it right here because it kind of confuses me, you know, which goes, which shade goes to which. But, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this color. I'm going to use my finger because you guys know that I love using my finger when it comes to shimmer shades. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that onto, I just dropped it onto, nothing happened to it. Oh. I'm just going to take my finger and just going to press onto the eye lid so you guys can see it's very very shimmery with that exact same shade i'm going to take which is primavera so you guys can see primavera is the exact same shade as that one right there so i'm just gonna go ahead same thing take my finger and i'm just gonna go with primavera and i'm actually gonna put this on to my eyelids so taking again my finger and just pressing it in to my finger and I'm just putting this over all over the eyelid and then once we're done we're just going to blend it just to make sure that you know it's not like you just put a freaking smear of eyeshadow on your lids Go ahead and use these two brushes to blend this out and let me just finish doing my makeup and I will be right back all right guys so I just finished doing my makeup you just zoom you in real quick you guys can see the eyes are identical I bet if I walk outside you know go to the store or whatever people will be like oh I love your eyeshadow they won't even tell I use two different palettes now the final verdict dun, dun, da, da. which one I prefer honestly you guys both palettes do work the same of course one's gonna be more affordable this is like I mentioned five dollars and this is 42 you are gonna get more colors with you know the Anastasia um, Renaissance palette other than the you know wet and wild palette are they is it good yes do they both work the same yes if you're someone that's on a budget on a really makeup budget and you don't want to spend $42 on you know on a palette like this one you can always you know substitute it for this one I like it that companies right now are are becoming well are making dupes of you know high-end palettes just because there's people out there that you know that are you know that want to stick with a makeup budget they don't want to spend so much money on it but anyways that's just my personal opinion you know you can go for it or not just you know like i mentioned before do whatever whatever makes you happy if you want to get both get both if you just want to get this one that's fine or this one that's it it's even fine so yeah i really like how this came out as well of course there's some shades in the palette that are going to be more pigmented than others but hey for me what a wild this is just good and good i give this palette a 10 out of 10 so I like it a lot but yeah I hope you like this little tutorial slash review slash whatever you want to call it this video uh, make sure to like this video uh, give it a thumbs up if you want to you don't have to share this video subscribe yeah and let me know if you want me to try more dupes of these you know of other palettes that are out there I really you guys want you know as more and more I'm starting to you know make more videos I want to get you know I want to do versus more so yeah so anyways i hope you like this versus video and yeah i will see you guys tomorrow's video bye